Assalamu alaikum students welcome to soil microbiology lecture series in this lecture we will study about organic matter and its decomposition in soil why microorganisms decompose organic matter and why do we care about the decomposition moreover some questions related to this topic are given at the end of the lecture sources of organic matter in soil so what are the different sources of organic matter in soil organic matter in soil comes from several sources such as from plant remains animal tissues excretory products all of these substances are materials sooner or later are subjected to microbial attack and finally converted into food of the soil organisms major forms of organic matter organic matter is divided into three major forms such as litter detritus and humus so let's first discuss about the litter litter is one of the organic matter forms which shows dead plant material such as leaves bark twigs that have been fallen to the ground litter also shows the waste products that have been disposed improperly now detritus it shows particularly dead particulate organic matter bodies or fragments of dead organisms as well as fecal debris means the waste or debris of any kind of organic matter now humus humus is a uniform and dark colored amorphous mass of organic matter it is an organic component of soil formed by the complete decomposition of leaves and other materials by the soil microorganisms humus serves as the source of energy essential plant nutrients there are at least 16 essential elements for plant growth plants must have these types of nutrients to perform various physiological functions these nutrients consist of primary nutrients which are also known as macro nutrients primary nutrients are usually required in large amounts and include carbon nitrogen hydrogen oxygen phosphorus and potassium now secondary nutrients these type of nutrients usually required in moderate amounts compared to the primary essential nutrients the secondary nutrients are calcium magnesium and sulfur some nutrients are called as micronutrients or trace nutrients these nutrients are required in very low amounts in plants as compared to the primary or secondary nutrients micronutrients are copper iron manganese molybdenum and zinc organic constituents of plants according to alexander in 1961 the organic constituents of plants are classified into six broad categories such as cellulose the most abundant chemical constituent hemicellulose lignin water soluble fractions ether and alcohol soluble fractions and proteins now decomposition of organic matter in soil so what is decomposition decomposition is a biological process that includes the physical breakdown and biochemical transformation of complex organic molecules 
of dead material into simpler organic and inorganic molecules. Simply, the decomposition means breakdown of dead plant and animal material resulting in release of nutrients. There are five different steps of decomposition such as fragmentation in which organic matter is break down into little pieces by the decomposers followed by leaching, catabolism, humification and finally mineralization. Why microorganisms decompose organic matter? Microorganisms decompose organic matter for the purpose of supplying energy for the growth, supplying carbon for new cell synthesis. Since cells of most of the microorganisms commonly contain approximately 50% of carbon that is derived mainly from the organic substances. But why we care about the decomposition? Decomposition is highly important in releasing nutrients tied up in dead organic matter and retain it back to the soil. Decomposition process. To understand decomposition process, we can see this figure. For an example, this is a tree growing in soil. Now, this is a green leaf falling to the ground. Now, some of these dead trees are eaten by insects, including other animals, means nutrients and energy enter food web. Some of these nutrients leach into soil by chemical action and results in organic rich soil. Moreover, these leaves are dead organic matter partially consumed by decomposers such as fungi and bacteria and become in the form of litter. So further decomposition by earthworms, bacteria and fungi and other organisms found in soil and finally converted into humus in soil. So this organic rich soil again benefit, beneficial for the plants. Decomposition process. The decomposition process is divided into three main processes such as assimilation means the conversion of substrate materials into protoplasmic materials for example organic carbon to microbial carbon or protein into microbial protein. Number two, mineralization means conversion of organic substance to inorganic form for example protein from the organic matter will be converted into inorganic nitrogen in soil. Number third, immobilization. Immobilization means the conversion of inorganic form into organic form such as inorganic nitrogen from soil converted into the microbial protein. Decomposition of cellulose. Cellulose is an abundant organic compound on earth. It is a carbohydrate composed of D-glucose units linked with beta-1,4 linkage of the sugar molecules. Cellulose chemical formula consists of C6H10O5 and it is formed in cell wall of the plants and present in the form of submicroscopic rod-shaped units known as micelles. A group of micelles is known as microfibrils. Several other polysaccharides such as xylens, menons, arabinose and galactans are associated with the 
cellulose. Cellulase is the enzymes that degrade the cellulose. The decomposition of the cellulose is carried out by aerobic, anaerobic, and microallophil bacteria, filamentous fungi, basidiomycetes, thermophilic fungi, actinomycetes, and certain protozoa. Now, decomposition of hemicellulose. Hemicellulose is also the major component of the plants next to cellulose. These are water insoluble polysaccharides and on hydrolysis yield hexoses, pentoses, and uronic acids. So, the based on presence or absence of uronic acids, this organic matter is divided into two types such as polyuronide hemicelluloses having uronic acids and celluloses no uronic acids. Many fungi, bacteria and actinomycetes are involved in decomposition of hemicelluloses. Hemicellulase is the enzyme that hydrolyze the hemicellulose polysaccharide. Now decomposition of lignin. Lignin is the third major component of the plant tissue. The amount of lignin is high in woody material, approximately 15 to 35 percent. 3 to 6 percent of the lignin is found in secondary layers of the cell wall and in the middle lamella. Lignin is always associated with the other polysaccharides and never occurs in free state. The decomposition of lignin is carried out by the members of higher fungi such as basidiomycetes and few ascomycetes. The role of bacteria in lignin decomposition is not very clear, but bacteria may play a role after the participation of fungi. Ligninase or lignin peroxidase is the enzyme that hydrolyzes the lignin. Decomposition of starch. Starch is a white granular organic component of the plants. In photosynthetic plants, starch is accumulated in leaves. In other plants, it is tied in tuber, bulbs, underground rhizomes, fruits, and seeds. Also, the large quantity of starch is found in xylem, phloem, cortex, and pith regions of the plants. Starch is composed of two main components such as amylose and amylopectin. Amylase is the enzyme which degrades or breaks down the starch. The decomposition of starch is carried out by almost all of the major soil microorganisms such as Acromobacteria species, Bacillus species, Chromobacterium, Clostridium species, Nocardia, Streptomyces, Aspergillus, Fusarium, Rhizopus, and few filamentous fungi. Decomposition of chitin. Chitin is a basic unit of amino sugars and it is composed of long chain of N-acetyl glucose amine units. The sources of origin of chitin in soil are mostly insects and fungi that live in soil. The cell walls of basidiomycetes and yeast are usually rich in chitin, also found in skeleton of many invertebrate animals. Chitinase or chitobias are the enzymes which are used to degrade the chitin substances. 
Among the microorganisms, actinomycetes play a major role in decomposition of chitin substances. Bacteria and fungi usually play a little role in degradation of chitin substances. Now questions related to this topic. Number one, what is the difference between liter detritus and humus? What do you mean by trace elements? Names of water soluble components in plants? Why microorganisms decompose organic matter? Why is decomposition of organic matter is so important? What are the different steps of decomposition of organic matter? What do you mean by immobilization? What is difference between polyuronide hemisolenosis and cellulosis? Which one of the organic compounds in plants always found in associated with other polysaccharides and never occurs in free state? Which type of organisms play a major role in decomposition of chitin substances?